I made a video recently, what professional software engineers actually do. And the overall response was pretty positive. It was one of my more popular videos of recent. However, there's one particular comment that basically caused me to remake this entire video. And that is software programmers should stop calling themselves software engineers, three exclamation points. You guys aren't engineers, exclamation point. So I kind of want to address that. A while ago, I made a video and didn't upload, I just scrapped it because I thought it was kind of pointless, and it still kind of is pointless, of defining developer job terms or whatever. So I kind of want to go through a lot of these, you know, programmers, coders, software developers, software engineers, web developers, front end developers, back end developers, back end engineers, what the difference is, if any, why it matters, what the titles are, what they are and some of the misconceptions that are surrounding it. And maybe a little bit of my own bias in there as well, because everyone has their bias. Sure, people do consider engineers maybe a little bit higher scale than programmers, but who's to say one is different than the other? Eh. So let's kind of have that conversation in this video. All right, so I'm gonna be the first one to tell you that basically nothing in this video matters on the large scale, you know, even in simple conversations and whatnot, maybe in some corporations or whatever may have different titles for different pay scales. So then it may matter, but <laughs> overall, who cares if you want to call yourself a program or call yourself a program, if you want to call yourself a software engineer and that's what you do, call yourself a software engineer. What does it matter? But I am going to give my own take on how I kind of define some of these terms in my mind. And I don't know if that's just a bias or the knowledge that I've picked up over the years. And with that being said, remember, this is just one man's perspective. I would love to hear y'all's comments down below and kind of see what you think, uh, how you define some of these different developer terms. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna do my best to try to go from broad to a bit more specific. So very broad, that is, Coder programmer. Those are very much interchangeable synonyms, right? Coder programmer. You are someone who writes code. You are someone who programs apps. That can be anyone from a professional software engineer, someone who writes code for, you know, the biggest tech company in the world, or someone who just hops online and creates a little terminal application. You can be a coder, you're, you're writing code. That's how I define that. And then to get a little bit more specific, but still very broad, software developer. Remember, this can encompass anything from building websites, building web apps, enterprise application, mobile apps, terminal applications, small, big, a lot of different things that I did not mention, but as long as you're developing software, software developer, then that's kind of what you are. But this is typically a job title. Typically, you are doing it as a profession if you call yourself a software developer. That doesn't mean being hired by somebody else. That could be hired by, you know, maybe you're a freelancer. Maybe you start your business and that's what you do. You're the software developer in that business. Or maybe you're just working on a project with a team. And like myself, we have data scientists on the team. We have software developers on the team. And I'm a software developer on that team. Okay. Software developer. Cool. But then it comes the interchangeable term software engineer. And this is probably the most like confusing for a lot of people who just who kind of care about this or just don't know yet. What's the difference between software developer and software engineer? Well, according to whoever made that comment previously, you're not an engineer if you're just programming software. However, <laughs> software engineer is a job title at plenty of different companies, same as software developer. Typically, I will say like I'm pulling this stat out of my anyway, 90 <laughs> of software developers, software engineers, those terms are interchangeable. Now there may be some companies in house that may have different job titles for different levels and software engineer could mean a slightly different job than software developer or that you're on a different team and working on something different. So other people may argue, you know, software developer, you're building like websites and web apps and maybe software engineer, you're, you're really working with those algorithms and all that math and real, you know, CS theory type stuff. But typically, again, pulling this out of thin air is what we'll say 90% of the time they're interchangeable. When I say pulling out of thin air, not that sentiment, but 90%, like who knows if it's 90%, but typically those are just, those are synonyms just as much as coder and programmer are synonyms. But then we get a little bit more specific 
and that would be like web developer or mobile developer and that will describe exactly what you are doing maybe not exactly but overall what you're doing it's still a little bit broad because as a web developer you could be doing java spring boot where you're doing java typescript and whatever other frameworks and stuff that you got going on there with spring boot or you could be a JavaScript developer with React.js on a front end, Node.js on a back end, or maybe you throw in some TypeScript there. Maybe you're just using a completely different language for your web development purposes. Would you also, this is gonna be a question, would you also consider WordPress developers, not WordPress theme developers, but people who build websites for clients on WordPress, CMS, a web developer? That's that, that's a question that I have for y'all because I'm, I'm not sure. And again, it kind of doesn't matter, but sometimes it does. And to some people it does. So I'm curious. But within web developer, there's also full stack developer or full stack engineer. Again, interchangeable, just like software developer and software engineer, just like coder, just like programmer. But full stack, that simply means that you are working on the front end, the back end, the APIs in between, the database, everything that goes into a particular web app you are a full stack developer or full stack engineer. Now the difference there is if you're a web developer, that doesn't necessarily mean you're a full stack developer. That's a bit more specific. That just means you kind of do everything. And within full stack development, there is front end developer and back end developer. There is something interesting here though. We've talked a lot about how developer and engineer are kind of interchangeable in a lot of these titles. However, I don't think I've ever seen the title front end engineer. In my personal bias, while there are, and this is not neglecting some of these amazing things that I couldn't even dream of doing that some people do with pure CSS or just anything else that they can do on the front end, I don't think I would ever call someone a front end engineer. I don't know why. Would you? But regardless, a front end developer, or if you want to call them front end engineers, they work on the front end of a web application or a website. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or TypeScript, or these different frameworks, but they're just focused on that. They don't have to worry about what goes on in the back end, which brings us to back end developer or back end engineer, which is a very interchangeable term as well. And I mean, kind of self explanatory. Typically, back end developers or engineers work on the back end of the website. You know, this would be the Node.js, or if you're working with Java, then you'd be doing Java on the back end, while TypeScript would be on the front end. Oh, did I also forget to mention that this vertical, when I'm talking about these job titles, is mostly going to be about web development, considering that's where I am when it comes to an iOS developer or iOS engineer. Actually, let's tangent real quick. iOS developer and iOS engineer. For some reason, when I was younger, I kind of determined an iOS developer to be someone who builds apps and an iOS engineer to be someone who builds iOS, like an Apple developer, but they're an iOS engineer. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Anyway, let's move back. <laughs> this also kind of translates to what you call particular things like a website versus a web app. A web app can be a website, but a website does not mean that it is a web app. You can have an HTML, CSS, JavaScript, like most individuals portfolio sites is just kind of like a, a front end layer. It has no back end or whatever, but a web app has front end, back end, everything. And to better describe front end, back end for, you know, the newcomers, Front end is what you see. The back end is what, if you're shopping, that stuff goes on the back end. If you have any data structures that you need to display on the front end, that stuff ha happens on the back end. If you have any, uh, you need to access any data in a database, that stuff happens on the back end and it communicates with the database, brings it forward. You got to display that on the front end. You throw it on the front end via an, a an API. So that's kind of how that is. This is obviously not an exclusive list. This is obviously one man's opinion again. But it's just kind of silly to me how, well, this comment is very silly how he says, you know, software programmers should stop calling themselves software engineers. You guys aren't engineers. Well, maybe not all developers are engineers, but there are plenty of programmers that are engineers. So I don't know why this individual is so like hell bent on trying to make sure that software programmers are put in their place and know that they aren't engineers. But I mean, who is he to say anything? And again, this is one of the silliest videos I had to make, but I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already, because I know a lot of people aren't subscribed. I actually do this myself. When I'm on YouTube, I'll continuously watch a particular creator because they pop up on my home feed. And the more I watch them, the more they pop up on my home feed or my recommended. 
and I think I'm subscribed to them because I watch them so much, but then I realize I'm not. So look at the subscribe button. If it's red and it says subscribe, click it. If it's gray and it says subscribe, duh, leave it alone. Just look right next to it, look at the bell, click the bell and click all notifications so you get notified when I upload a video. And that's all I have to say on the matter. I have like three other videos that I have scrapped this week. So I'm so happy that I read this comment and I can make a video for you today. <laughs> if you, one video is a Q and A video. Another video is building a crypto mining rig. I just kind of ran into a hiccup there. I don't know if I want to make that into a video or not. Some of y'all said you wanted to see it. It's just a little fun project. And I forget what the other one is. Oh no, no, I remember what the other one is. I'm not going to discuss what the other one is, but let me know if you want to see those videos and uh, I'll see y'all next week.